Hello everyone, Pally Tip here. Welcome back to Mass Effect 2, part of our Mass Effect Legendary Edition playthrough with Watcha Shepa. Last episode, we picked up a new crew member and I cannot wait to go talk to him. I'm definitely gonna wake him up. I wanna see what's on his mind. Is he being kept in here? Yes, he is. Hello, soldier. Keeping an eye on the geth. Good job, I'm very proud of you. Let's take a look at him. Ten hut. Uh, I'm I'm reactivating the geth. I'm turning this thing back on. Be ready. Aya. No questions. I appreciate that. I have isolated our systems and erected additional firewalls. I am prepared to resist any hacking attempt. Roger that. Good. Good, Edie. Good heads up. Hey, little buddy. Hey. How you doing? Take your time. Got a hole through his abdomen. Can you understand me? Yes. Are you going to attack me? No. Do you know who I am? Do you know about what to Shepe? You said my name aboard the Reaper. Have we met? We know of you. You mean I've fought a lot of Geth? We have never met. No, you and I haven't. But I've met other Geth. We are all Geth, and we have not met you. You are Shepard, Commander, Alliance, Human, fought heretics, killed by collectors, rediscovered on the old machine. On the old machine. Fought heretics? Who do you, I'm gonna investigate more. Who's the old machine? Old machine? You mean the Reaper? Reaper, a superstitious title originating with the Protheans. We call those entities the old machines. Uh, that's a lot more fitting. It makes them sound a lot less intimidating. Oh no, the old machines are coming. You seem to know an awful lot about me. Extranet data sources, insecure broadcasts, all organic data sent out is received. We watch you. Oh, that's, that's creepy. So who did I fight? What do you mean, heretics? Geth build our own future. The heretics asked the old machines to give them the future. They are no longer part of us. We were studying the old machine's hardware to protect our future. Okay, so what I just understood from that is there were a section of the Geth, but all Geth are Geth, but there's a section of the Geth that split off to act, ask the Reapers for help. However, there's also a faction of the Geth that believe in building their own futures. Okay, that's interesting. What future are the Geth building? Ours. Uh, what about organics? Will anyone else be affected by whatever it is you're doing? If they involve themselves, they will. I mean, he's not wrong. <laughs> that doesn't really mean anything, though. Are the Reapers a threat to you, too? Yes. Well, okay, we have common ground, then. Why would they attack other machines? We are different from them, outside their plans. Okay, are you with us or against us? If I take this shield thing down, what are you gonna do? So you aren't allied with the Reapers? We oppose the heretics. We oppose the old machines. Shepard Commander opposes the old machines. Shepard Commander opposes the heretics. Cooperation furthers mutual goals. I don't disagree with that. So you wanna work with me, huh? Are you asking to join us? Yes. Then what should I call you? Geth. I mean you, specifically. We are all Geth. What is the individual in front of me called? Geth. There is no individual. We are Geth. There are currently 1,183 programs active within this platform. Uh -oh. My name is Legion, for we are many. Quiet, Edie! <laughs> you know what? Legion works for me, my dude. Well, that seems appropriate. Christian Bible, the Gospel of Mark, chapter 5, verse 9. We acknowledge this is an appropriate metaphor. We are Legion, a terminal of the Gath. We will integrate into Normandy.
anticipate the exchange of data. I also anticipate the exchange of data. I hope I can patch you up, bud. That's a pretty gnarly hole. You know what? I'll be back. I'll talk to you more in a second, okay? What? That's all for now. Logging you out. Tally's got to think something about this. Shepard, what can I do for you? Uh, Normandy upgrades? We already did this, right? Can you do anything to give the Normandy an edge over a collector ship? My shield fortification will help, but I don't think there is much more I can do. Roger that. I want to talk about you. Have you got time to talk? Sure. Uh, let me just come on, you little bushtet. Oh, sorry. I've got a small fever and I'm taking it out on the poor drive core. Don't worry, it's nothing serious. Got sloppy while doing some suit repair. How sick are you? You're sick? Do you need help or time to rest? Really, it's not that bad. If a stray bit of bacteria could really kill us, we'd have all died by now. The fever should go away in a day or two. Don't worry. It won't affect my performance on the mission. It's not even an illness, really. What we experience is actually an acute allergic reaction. I mean, a fever just means that your body is successfully trying to fight off the thing, right? How exactly does the sickness work? It's an allergic reaction? Right. Say I get exposed to a human disease, like, what did Navigator Presley have that time? Chickenpox? Right. I wouldn't get chickenpox. But I'd run a fever as my system reacted to the foreign presence. Depending on where it hits me, I could get other symptoms. Nausea, vomiting, everything you'd expect from being sick. This isn't really what I wanted to talk to you about at all. How did you get sick this time? I took some fire in a fight back on the Alari. Nothing serious, but I needed to open my suit to check the wound. I disinfected properly, but one of the section seals had taken some damage and foreign matter got out of the disinfected zone. It was a stupid mistake. You always check your seals before doing local treatment. Unless you forget. Then you get a damn fever. Suited life sounds hard. Sounds really hard. I don't know if I could live inside a suit my whole life. We are in our suits even among family. The most intimate thing we can do with another Quarian is link our suit environments. We get sick at first and then we adapt. It's our most important gesture of trust, of acceptance. I haven't trusted anyone enough for that, though. Except, well, no Quarians. Um, you know what I mean. <laughs> I, I trust you too, Tally. I appreciate the thought, Tally, and I feel the same way. But you don't have to prove anything to me. I know. Well, not that, that I know, but I, I didn't mean it like that. It's a, um, wow, it's really hot in here. Uh-oh. It's just that the tradition also signifies a willingness for, um, intimacy. I wasn't trying to, it's not always like that. It's more, um, how did we even end up talking about this? Are you making a pass at me, Tally? Wait a minute. It sounds like you're suggesting something, Tally. What could I possibly be suggesting? I mean, a young woman gets rescued by a dashing commander who lets her join his crew and then goes off to save the galaxy? How could she possibly develop any kind of interest in him? Well, the two best engineers in the galaxy, who could have seen it coming? You have nothing to be embarrassed about, Tally. I feel the same way about you. Really? I didn't know, you never, well, good. Anyway, I should get back to work. Thanks for coming by and talking. Wow, that took a turn. That's not what I expected to talk about at all. Hey. I am glad you came. I must ask for your help. That is not easy for me. This is what I was looking for. Take your time. I'll do what I can. What do you need? When we met on Ilium, I told you about a very dangerous person I was pursuing. Using the information you obtained, I have located her. She's been going by the name Morinth. I would like to apprehend her before she disappears again. Who is she? Tell me about her. She is an Ardot Yakshi. It is a term from a dead Asari dialect. It means demon of the night winds, but that is mythology. She is simply a very dangerous woman who kills without mercy. Uh, why the special name, then? So is an Ardot Yakshi a special kind of murderer? 
Marin suffers a rare genetic disorder. When she mates with you, there is no gentle melding of nervous systems. She overpowers yours, burns it out, hemorrhages your brain. You end up a mindless shell. Holy shit. And soon after, you are dead. Did she do that? To Okay. Did she do that to someone you know? This is definitely worthy of your full attention. She confuses her victims, twists their feelings. They will do anything for her favor. Let's go get her, dude. We need to stop her. Thank you, Commander. There are no words to express what this means to me. There is one thing more. This creature, this monster. She is my daughter. Oh. 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 You said this is genetic. How many children do you have? Three. And three Ardat Yakshi are in existence today. It is as it sounds. Marinth was always the wild one. She was happy and free, but selfish. Well, that puts you in a difficult position. Is this why you made the Justicar vow and you're celibate now? You didn't want to make any more of. Well, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't want to throw around names. It can't be easy to talk about. My daughter's condition is my fault, and my redemption lies in killing her. That's fucked up. Do not pity me. Simply understand my situation. Tell me more. How did all this happen? I spent my youth on the move, adventuring. I killed people, mated with them, or just danced the night away. I learned so much, experienced so much, and then my matron days came. I could finally sit back, bask, and enjoy my family. But in one moment, it was all taken away. That must have been hard. It sounds terrible. I sat in a med lab while a nearsighted doctor droned at me, and I learned that nothing was as I thought it would be. I gave up all that I possessed. I owe nothing, claim nothing. All my knowledge will die with me. Now my purpose is to destroy my own children. Okay, I, I mean, I understand. That sounds terrible, though. I, I don't really feel great about this. Those moments change you. And I've hundreds of years left to live with that. I say too much. Forgive me. Help me find my long lost daughter and kill her. Ugh, fuck. Okay. We'll go find Morinth. So is she actively like seeking out mates Commander, and killing them? Because I feel like, what if we just gave her a Justicar of like what what she had, like what Samara has? I mean, obviously she'd have to, you know, want to do it and have to believe in the pledge itself. But I mean, maybe it's a path we could try to pursue rather than just killing your offspring. She's on Omega. Whoa, been a while since I've been here. The daily death count on Omega is too high for me to pinpoint in Ardat Yakshi's location. However, given the reputation of Ardat Yakshi among the Asari, Arya Talok may have tracked her movements. Roger that. Arya, always helpful. Come on, let me in. Arya's expecting me. <laughs> that guy is still waiting outside. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Let me in. Arya's waiting for me. Arya. What do you need? Oh, I'm looking for Samara's daughter. How'd you recognize me? An Asari fugitive is hiding out here. She's an Ardat Yakshi. We need to find her. I knew it. Nothing leaves a body quite so empty as an Ardat Yakshi does. You haven't taken steps to kill her. Why would I? She hasn't tried to seduce me. Her last victim was a young girl. Pretty thing. Lived in the tenements near here. That's where I'd start looking. After that, I will. Thank you. Thanks for the help. Good luck finding her. Better luck catching her. That was really straightforward. I appreciate that. Is this the right place? I'm right by the quarantine area. I've been walking all over. I can't find the right area. Hello? Are you here about my daughter? My nephew died a week ago and no one seems to oh, care. Oh, yeah. The medic said it was a brain hemorrhage, but that's not true. It was murder. Someone killed my nephew, my baby. 
Yeah, I, I believe you. I think she was murdered too, and I'm looking for her killer. Oh, thank you. It's so hard when no one believes you. I'm all alone now. Are you one of Arya's people? Uh, I'm an interested party. I'm looking into this on my own authority. No one else on this hellhole station gives a damn that my nephew is dead. If you can do something about it, I'll help you however I can. Um, can, what can you tell me about Neff? What kind of a girl was your daughter? My Neff had a fire inside her. She was shy, but she was creative and driven and uh, the best girl a mother could hope for. She was creative? How so? She was a sculptor. Several galleries were interested in her. Said her work was fresh. Fresh, good. Did Neff hang out anywhere in particular? She was always quiet working here at home. Then, a few weeks ago, she started going out all the time to the VIP area of that club down the street. I think you need a password or something to get in there. The change was so sudden. She just seemed tired and distracted when she wasn't around Morinth. Did your daughter have a lot of friends? Not a lot, no. She was shy. Spent most of her time off making her sculptures, not hanging out with friends. Something did change in the last few weeks, though. She started talking about an Asari. Morinth. I see. I didn't like her. She kept dragging Neff out to clubs, and I'm pretty sure she gave my daughter drugs. Can we have a look around really fast? Do you mind if I examine Neff's room? I didn't want to disturb anything. Her clothes, her art, her sculptures, everything is the way she left it. The way it will always be. My baby is gone. Oh, fuck, man. <laughs> Killing me. I'm sorry. I just miss her so I much. I bet you do. It's okay. We've all suffered loss. I know what it means to lose a daughter. I will avenge her. Thank you. Please, if it helps you find her killer, look through her things. We will be respectful. I'll examine her things. Okay, let's not touch too much. There's something down here in the corner. Neff, I'm sending you this hologram by the Elcor artist Forta. His work is sublime, but don't stare at it too long or you may go mad. I don't want anything bad to happen to you, love. I can't wait to hear what you think of Forta. Is this it? Neff made that. A man from Lundalia offered me four years' salary for it, but I'd never part with it. I, I don't want you to part with it. You should definitely hold on to it. Uh, read the oldest entry. Read the oldest entry. Hey, diary. Cycle 34, orbit 671. There's a lot to talk about. I dropped your root's name, and they let me into the VIP room at Afterlife. I was sure everyone was staring at me. Then the most beautiful Asari starts dancing near me. She moves like water, form and volume, but shifting, changing... I'm in a trance. Then I'm dancing with her. Later, we went for skewers, and I'm supposed to see her again tomorrow. Mm hmm. I see. Read the oldest entry. Oops. Hey, diary. Then I'm dancing with her. Close, Close the, the journal. journal. This is Morin's work. She's attracted to artists and creators. Someone with a spark slightly isolated from their peers. She impresses with sophistication and sex appeal. Then she strikes. The hunt interests her as much as the conquest. She sounds dangerous. Anyone who's successfully hunted sapient beings for 400 years warrants caution. Morin speaks to you on many levels. Her body tells yours that she'll bring unimaginable ecstasy. Her scent evokes emotions long hidden. Her eyes promise you things you were always scared to ask of another. Her voice whispers to you after she is done speaking. Well, let's go stop her. So... What's our next step? Storming her den would be a mistake. She will have a hundred escape routes planned. She will go to ground and disappear for 50 years or more. This is the closest I've ever been. Do you have a plan? You sound like you're working your way toward an idea. Afterlife's VIP section seems her preferred hunting ground. You must go there alone and unarmed. I'm the bait? Hold on! She'll come after me. You can draw Morinth out. She'll certainly flee if she catches sight of me. But she won't be able to resist you. 
You are an artist on the battlefield. You have the vital spark that attracts her. Your power will draw her in. All right, let's do it. Time's wasting. Let's get over there. I agree. We can talk more once we're there. The VIP only area is like way in the back over here. I think we actually tried to get in here before. What do you want? Hey, let me in. A Jarut sent me. Someone told me the rest of Afterlife is nothing compared to this place. Sounds like a smart person. Who was it? Jarut. Go on in. Word to the wise. Start a fight, we'll hurt you. Someone attacks you, it's okay to defend yourself. Roger that. That's kind of a scary warning. Got it. I see you there. Hello. H how did you get in? You must go in alone. Marinth will be watching. Like any predator, she is cautious. You must pique her interest enough that she will approach you. When you are face to face, subtly encourage her to invite you to her apartment. I'll follow discreetly, and when you are alone, I'll spring the trap. Know this, until I get there, you are in great peril. She will be planning to inflict horrors on you. If you are not careful, you will want her to. That's scary, dude. Okay, I know what to do. Let's get started. I'm the bait. Shepard, we only get one chance at this. Any mistake and Morinth will disappear. If you're the least bit unsure, come talk to me. I will wait here. No, I could do this. Thank you. I do not share this burden easily, and you are the only soul I can imagine sharing it with. We'll get this done. All right. I have a lot of money to spend in here. Hey, bruh. Hey, do you know where to get tickets for Expel 10? I heard this amazing Asari say they were her favorite band. I want to... I just want whatever she wants. I gotta find tickets. Expel, Expel 10. 10 is playing tomorrow. Uh, Expel 10 is a band. I've never heard of any bands. What kind of music do they play? They're a sensory band. Like, they crawl into you and make you feel things. And this is sorry, digs them like you wouldn't believe. I could score way out of my league, you know? You, you gotta help me. Sorry, bud. I don't have any tickets, man. I don't have any tickets. If you score some, I got some creds for you. Okay, I'll keep an eye out. There's a lot of Asari in here. Hey, bud, you look like you're waiting to talk to somebody. What's up? Uh, hi. I need help right now, and I don't know who to ask. You're human, and you don't look high, so you're it. Can you help me out? Uh, that's probably the best compliment anyone's ever given me. <laughs> what kind of help? My friend Moiral is doing a piece on Omega Games. She's hanging with Florid. He's the worst of the worst. Doing a piece? What is she doing? A vid piece. She's an investigative reporter, you know? She's trying to profile gang leaders. Okay, that sounds pretty dangerous, man. Your friend could get hurt. Yeah, and she's going to. See, Florit's onto her. His gang is on the way here, and they're going to make a mess of her. I have to get a message to her, and fast. Uh, what are you asking? What do you want me to do? She and I have a code. If you go over and say two words to Florit, my friend will get the message and get out of there. The two words are terminal and eternity in that order. Please tell me you can do that. She's going terminal to die. eternity. I can do it. Thanks. I can do that. Thank you. Thank you. Remember terminal and eternity in that order. Just work them into a sentence. Okay. Hey, bro. You need something, man. Terminal. Is there a public extranet terminal around here in a club? You don't have an Omni tool. That is a pretty strange question. God, I've been looking for one for all eternity. I get by on public terminals. My Omni tool's been broken for an eternity. That's a tough break. I'm done talking to you now. Hey, Florit, I have to pee. Yeah? Hurry back, Moirol. I'm ready to head out. I think she got the message. I've delivered your message. Thank you so much. I really thought she was going to die. Should I talk to this guy? It's hot. I'm not allowed to attack him, but I can defend myself, right? Perfect. Hey, bud. Bitch isn't coming back. I'm gonna find her. Uh-oh. Well, that's not... Okay. That's not what I wanted to hear. Music here used to be avant-garde. I told you to stay away from me. Hey, bud. What's going on here? Don't be like that. I got cracks. We'll go back to my place. I got simple tastes. Back off, asshole. I'm a dancer, not a hooker. 
You got a mouth on you. I'll enjoy watching you use it. Leave her alone, my dude. The lady asked you to step away. What the hell? I'm just looking for a good time. This isn't your business. <laughs> good times are over. Thanks for that. Security was asleep. Yeah, no problem. God, they're really jamming in this corner. Look at them go. Perfect unison as well. Holy shit, how do they do it? There's a Krogan in here. In Insult verse? Why? I guess they'll let anybody in here now. No standards anymore. Yeah, they let you in. Oh, <laughs> let's step outside. <laughs> I mean, that's probably the fastest way to earn a Krogan's respect, right? Let's do it. Can you back that up? We go out to the alley, only one of us comes back in. I know Erd not Rex. I have the perfect Krogan aboard my ship. I'm just trying to have a drink here. No need to get all excited. <laughs> Damn humans. Yeah, you better walk away. My name is Morin. I've been oh. watching you. You're the most interesting person in this place. I've got a booth over here in the shadows. Why don't you come sit with me? Yeah, I guess I'll go sit with you. Some nights I come here and there's no one interesting to talk to. Some nights, there's just one person. Tonight, it's you. Why is that? She looks a lot like her mother. Uh, I, 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 I don't know. Uh, we're, I'm so confident. No, I'm not confident at all. We're alike. You and I want the same things. Do we? Music? What do you think of the music here? Dark rhythms, violent pulses. It stirs something primitive in me. What about you? You know, it's no Expel 10, bruh. I'm curious about a band called Expel 10. They get in my head and tear it to pieces. They're in concert soon. Maybe we should go together. You can lose yourself in the music here. There are ways to enhance that. Uh, we're undercover here, right? I have such a history with drugs. So many drugs. Oh my God. I can't wait to be drugged. I experimented when I was younger, but I've outgrown that. That's admirable. What else have you outgrown, I wonder? Oh, that's not the question. M many things? As you grow up, you leave some things behind you. Ah, you put away the things of youth. How do you feel about art, though? Do you know anything about art? It speaks to the darkest places in me. What about you? Well, uh, I sure do love El Cor Forda. Man, I get down to that. Do you know the artist Porta? I didn't think anyone around here knew him. He's sublime. Art comes in many varieties. I've seen vids that were more powerful than a sculpture sitting in a gallery. Yeah, like my videos. And that's why people always hit the thumbs up button. Wait, do you watch the violent ones? That's kind of a weird question. What do you think about the violence in vids? It seems fake to me. I don't see the point. You know about violence, huh? I sensed it. You're acquainted with the real thing. As are you. Well, I don't want to bring up our family at all, so let's talk about traveling. I've traveled all over the galaxy. It changes you, doesn't it? I like the danger. <laughs> Real travel means going to dangerous places. Where you can see and do things most people can't imagine. Yes. When I travel, I find myself drawn to dark, dangerous places. Violent places? Violence is the surest expression of power. Well, you know, power is its own reward. Have you seen my ball? It was so strong. Violence is a means to an end. Power is that end. Do you want to get out of here? My apartment is nearby and I want you alone. Shit, I did it! Wave to her mom! Who is just standing in the middle of the VIP lounge looking at us. Oh! Wait, what's that? You have a Krogan statue? A gift from a suitor. The statue's got more personality than he did. Still, he impressed me enough that he finally got what he wanted. It didn't end the way he hoped. 
No. How does it often end? Did she kill that guy? It didn't end the way he had hoped. A chess set. I love any game where your opponent can believe he is about to win just before you kill him. God, there's a lot of red flags here. A lot of red flags. Our entire conversation was just nothing but red flags. Is this door supposed to be locked? Surely you don't want to leave. Why don't you come over here? I promise you'll like it. Yeah. You have an assault rifle and a sword on the wall. Oh, assault rifle damage. Dealing for a while. I love the moment you see it in your opponent's eyes. He knows you're better and he's going to die. Oh, pill bottle. God, there's so many fun. <laughs> have a Halix if you want. But wouldn't you rather have all your senses be clear and sharp right now? I certainly do. Okay, I'm very scared of you. I love clubs. People, movement, heat. I can still hear the bass like the drums of a great hunt out for your blood. But here, it's muted and you're safe. Is that what you want, Shepard? To be safe? No. I'd rather fight than hide. Yes, better to take control of your fate. I've never understood the fascination with safety. Some of us choose differently. Independence over submission. I think we share that, you and I. Uh, 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 we're not alike. That seems to really derail this. I don't have enough pair. I don't have enough renegade. We've both killed many times, but that's where the similarities end. Why do you say that I've killed? What do you know? Oh, shit. Let's stop playing games. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Look into my eyes and tell me you want me. Tell me you'd kill for me. Anything I want. Surprise! I'm what the ship is. Don't count on it. But you... Who are you? Oh no. I see what's going on. The bitch herself found a little helper. Marin. Ooh. Mother, do not call me that. I can't choose to stop being your daughter. Mother, you made your choice long ago. What choice? My only crime was being born with the gifts you gave me. Enough, Morin. I am the genetic destiny of the Asari, but they are not ready to reveal this. So I must die. You are a disease to be purged. Nothing more. I'm as strong as she is. Let me join you. I am already sworn to help you, Shepard. Let us finish this. You can kill Samara? What the fuck? End of the line, Morinth. And they call me a monster. Find peace in the embrace of the goddess. I am ready to leave this place and get on with my life. Are you ready to go as well? Dude, I am so fucked up after this mission. Are you okay? I'm not okay. Do you want to talk about what happened? Shepard, what do you think I will say? What can I say? I just killed the bravest and smartest of my daughters. There are no words. I will try another time. For now, show mercy on a broken old warrior and let us leave. Yes, ma'am. Let's go. I don't feel good about this mission at all. What do you guys think? I've been kind of off put by this whole idea the entire time. I'm gonna get back on the Normandy, dude. I'm getting out of here. I'm getting out of here, bro. There's nothing good on Omega.